hello everyone welcome to my channel this is easy accounting channel today we are studying ifrs 8 international financial reporting standard 8 operating segments ifrs 8 operating segment requires particular classes of entity essentially those with public traded security to disclose information about their operating segment, the products, the services, and also the geographical area in which they operate and their major customer. So we are going to study one, internal management reports, how management identify the operating segments and how they measure of disclose the segments. So I have RS8 was issued in November 2006 and applied to annual period beginning on or after January 1st, 2009. So I have RS8 applies to the separate or individual financial statements of an entity. Number one, whose death or equity instrument are traded in the public market or that files or is in the process of filing its financial statement with the security commission or other regulatory organization for the purpose of issuing any class of instrument in the public market. However, when both separate and operating financial statement for the parents are presented in a single financial report, segment information needs to be presented only on the basis of the consolidated financial statement. So I have RS8 operating segment is a component of an entity that's engaged in business activity from which it can earn revenue and also incur expenses. Number two, Whose operating results are reviewed regularly by the entity and then for which discrete financial information is available. Now let's talk about the reportable segments of IFRS 8. This requires number one, 10% of the assets or more must be combined of all the operating segments and also 10 percent of the reported revenue both from the internal customers and also the inter-segment sales or transfer and also the absolute measure of its reporting profit must be 10 percent or more However, two or more operating segments may be aggregated into a single operating segment if aggregation is consistent with the principle of the standard. Now let's talk about the disclosure of IFRS 8. Number one, the entity has to identify the operating segments the type of products, the services from which the operating segment derives its revenue. Number two, management has to apply the aggregate criteria to allow two or more operating segments. And number three, the profits and loss for each reportable segment must be included in the financial statement. And also number four, a measure of the total asset and total liability for each reportable segment. Number five, an explanation of the measurement of the segment of the profit and loss and the segment assets and segment liability. Then number six, there should be a reconciliation of the total segment revenue reported from the profit and loss and then the asset and the liability. Then number seven, 
information about the transactions with the major customer. Eight, we have to analyze the revenue and non-current asset by geographical area. And nine, some entity-wide disclosure are required for IFRS 8. Thank you for coming to my channel. I hope to see you in my next video. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.